What opponents call the Don't Say Gay bill has cleared its first Florida Senate committee with a party line vote. Republicans pushing it through despite LGBTQ community outcry. Our Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders has the details on that. The bill's most controversial provision is this. Districts, quote, may not encourage classroom discussion about sexual orientation or gender identity in primary grade levels or in a manner that is not age appropriate. And parents are permitted to sue if schools don't comply. We need some stability. We need parents in charge. Sponsor Senator Dennis Baxley says he's targeting curriculum, not conversations. Also, kindergarten through third graders, not older students. Parents, he says, should be having these discussions, not teachers. These children do not belong to the state. They belong to families. And without their involvement, there's no success for children. But opposition was fierce. Passing this bill will end lives, and that blood will be on your hands if you vote yes. Many told lawmakers the bill is vague and could chill important conversations in school. Others call it offensive and worry gay or trans youth will suffer in silence. I was once in third grade, fourth grade, and I was still transgender. That includes Andrew Triolo, a transgender teen from Brevard. Passing this bill will go completely against normalizing LGBTQ identity in children when it's totally fine for a kid to be straight. The White House, too, offering a statement against the bill, saying it's, quote, designed to target an attack the kids who need support the most. By your vote, Senate Bill 1834 is reported favorably. Even so, the GOP majority pushing the policy through, now headed to its second of three Senate committees. Enough is enough! <laughs> enough is enough! As opponents vow to keep up the fight. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.